Today I'm going to do a quick repair on this old photograph. Now if you're new to GIMP, I'd suggest that you watch my GIMP Beginner's Guides, especially the Layers Guide and the Clone and Healing Tools Guide, as I'm going to use these tools to fix this photograph. Now before I start altering a photo, I make a copy of it in my Layers panel. This is so that later on, I can easily compare my altered version with the original photo. I just click on the Create a Duplicate button at the bottom of my Layers panel and it automatically creates a copy. And now I'm going to zoom up this area here. So I'll click on my Zoom tool and zoom it up. I'm going to use the Healing tool, so I'll click on that. And because this damaged area is so large, I'm going to increase the size of my brush. I'm going to use a fuzzy edged brush because I find that more forgiving when you're in a hurry. And now I'll need to create a source. I want this damaged area here to have this pattern. So to create the source here, I'll hold down my control key Click my left mouse button and release the control key. And now, when I click or drag my mouse over here, the texture or pattern in my source will be copied. Now it doesn't copy the colour, because this is the healing tool, not the clone tool. And next I'm going to work on his neck. And I'll have to change the source because I want it to have the line through it. So I'll make the source here, hold down my control key, click my mouse button, and now I'll click on the damaged part of his neck, and it copies my source. I'll do the same with his face. I'll change my source to here, and I'll click my mouse over this damaged area. Now I'll zoom it back down. I'll compare it to the original photo again, but at the moment I've still got a source visible on this layer. So I'll click onto my paintbrush tool just to get rid of that source indicator for now. And I'll go to my layers panel, and on the top layer, which is the one I was working on, I click on the eye. And I can now see the layer that was underneath, which is the original photo. When I click where the eye was again, the altered photo reappears, and I can see the difference I've made. Next, I'll work on this area of the photo. So I'll zoom it up. In this case, I think that the smudge mark here is a different colour. So I'm actually going to use the clone tool. I'll click on it, and I set a source exactly the same as I did for the healing tool. I find the area that I want to copy, hold down my control key, click my left mouse button and release the control key. And that is now my source. But this time it's a clone source, so I'm copying the colour as well as any pattern. And I just click or drag my mouse, clicking over the discoloured area and there you go so the next area to work on would be the waistcoat now this is a little bit more tricky because you can see there's a pattern I select my healing tool again and I find an area with the right pattern I want to repair this bit here, so I think that looks like quite a good match, so I'll make it my source there, and click on the area I want to repair. And I'll go down to the next one, and now I'll change my source to here, and do this bit.
And I think that's not too bad. So I'll look at this area here now. I'll change my source to here. And there. And this bit, I'll change my source again. And that's not too bad. I'll zoom it down. And I once again... I'll click on the paintbrush tool just to get rid of the source indicator. But if I look at the top, I can see there's still some smudge marks up here. So I'll go back to my healing tool, create a source, and just heal over those smudges. And now again, I've got the source indicator showing. So I'll click on the paintbrush tool to hide it and go to my layers panel and compare the photos again. So I'll click on the eye to reveal the original photo and then click where the eye was to see the new version. And I'm quite pleased with that. It's only been a couple of minutes. Now if I wanted to keep this as a new photo, I would go to File click on export I'd give it a new name so that I kept the old photo as well and I'd make sure it was going to my pictures library I'd click export and export again when the next box came up however I'm not going to save it so I'll just close out and I'm not going to save the project either And this is another photo that I recently repaired, and this photo was incredibly damaged. If you look, you can see a lot of it was actually missing, and I had to use the clone tool and copy other parts of the photo to fill in these missing gaps. However, this was the end result, and the owner was really pleased with it. So I hope this has given you some ideas of how you can repair your own photos. And if you have any problems or suggestions, just leave a comment.